Hi, in this video I'll show you how to get a unique CSV or comma separated value list from a table. So here we have a table here. This is just a small table and we're going to do this using a feature called Power Query. And what we want to do is we want to take out uh, some list of items here. So we have this group item and we want to kind of list out the unique values of the regions. So let's say for example maybe group C item 4, you can see group C item 4, we want to have just the unique CSV value, comma separate value list of north and west, right? So we have group C item 4, there's north, group C item 4, there's another instance of north, and we only want unique values, right? So we just want one instance of that, and we have a group C item 4 west. So if we didn't have Power Query, there's also another way to do this using some sorting and concatenation features in Excel. But with Power Query, it makes it just a little bit easier because if we have data that uh, we update frequently, we can just use Power Query to do it kind of automatically. So let's see how this is done. Now I'm in my data tab, and what we want to do is uh, we can turn this into a table, and so it can be put into Power Query. We can also, it doesn't necessarily need, need to be a table, but it just makes it easier when, when it's a table. And you know that a range of data is a table is when you select in it and you get this table tools um, contextual menu. Now if you didn't have, if you wanted to turn values in a table, you can just go to insert and under the tables group, there is this table icon here that's grayed out because it's already a table. But if I want to turn in table, just click on it or press control T. Or you can also just go into data and click from table and if it's not a table already, it'll automatically bring it in as a table. So I'm just going to bring it in as, uh, use this from table option because it's already a table. Click that. The Power Query window will come up. Let's resize this to make it a little bit easier to see. And what it's done is it's applied some steps here. So it's, it's taken the source data, it's taken source data from that table and it's kind of changed the types. You'll notice that it's it's updated the types here. And so this is a, a text, 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 and that is a number value. What we want to do here is we want to group items first here. So the items that we want to group, I want to group by group number and item number. I'll use, go under the home, go to group by, and uh, another window will come up asking me how I want to group it. I'm going to click advanced because I want to do some additional groupings, right? Not just by one column, by multiple columns. So I'm going to group by the group and also group by the item. So I want to have a region column here. So I'll just call that region. I'm going to call this region list. And I want to have all the rows for that region. Oops. And basically what it's going to do, it's going to create a new column, but it's going to have a table within that column. And I'll show you what that means. Click OK. And we're going to have this table here. So we don't want to click on the, you can see that if I hover over table, it's going to turn into a hand icon. If I click on that, you see that it's going to kind of drill down and bring that particular table up. All right? We don't want that. Let's kill that step or let's undo that step. Just click on the X. What if you wanted to see what's in that table, just click on the white space here and you see that for group C, item four, it's kind of aggregated it out or it's kind of it's kind of created that table within uh, this particular set here. So we have everything's group C, everything that's group four, and we have our regions here. Now this is a table within itself here. What we want to do is just take out that region, that column, and uh, have that only what we need to do is kind of create a custom column. So what I want to do is go under add column and add custom column. So it's going to bring up another window where we need to go into something called M code. And it's not too much, so you don't have to worry too much about it. So by default, it gives it a name custom. Uh, I'll probably just keep that for now because I'm going to read, I'm going to, I'm, I won't need this custom column later on, so I'm not going to change the name. In here, we need to type a formula, and it's going to use the M code here, but it's not too much. It's only like one one sentence. And what we want to do is we want to type a formula that affects the table. So, of course, it starts out with the word table, and then we want to take and column, right? So we're going to take out a column from the table, open parentheses, and what we want to take out, we want to take out the uh, region list. We want to use the region list table that it created. That's what we called it. 
and what we want to do is take out that region right so re we have to put this in quote or into double quotes close double quotes close parentheses and you can see here that there's no errors in the particular formula click OK and it's going to bring up a, another custom column or bring up our custom column if I click in the white space of one of them now you notice that it's brought in just the values from that column and that was what that was what that formula did now with this particular uh, column here in the editor now all you need to do is take out the unique values the unique values in this list is just north and west right because we have three instances of north and one instance of west and we just need to use another formula or add another column and create a, another formula for that click on custom column again and it's created custom dot one of course we don't need that and since this is a list I have a list function so it's called list dot distinct and open parentheses and I just want to take the this, this, this distinct list of values from this custom right this custom list double click that close parentheses click OK and now we have this list and if I click on this list you see that it's a distinct value now all I need all, all I wanted was north and west now all I need to do is bring that out and so if I click on these arrows here it can ask me if I want to expand the new row to new rows and I don't want to do that because it's going to add additional rows here or extract the values that's what I want click on that and it's going to ask what delimiter do we want it well we want comma separated delimiter so we're going to select comma click OK and now you notice we have our CSV values I don't need these columns anymore so I'll just click on that press the shift key click that right click and remove columns and I've got my list here now it's probably a good idea to also sort these now so I'll sort ascending for that so everything goes A A B C and also sort this let's see if it four five yeah let's have four come before five and sort this one now all I need to do is go back to the home tab click close and load it's gonna bring it back into a new sheet in Excel and now I have my comma separated values my unique comma separated value list from this table right so that's how we can do it now if this is something that we have to do on a recurring basis like we're adding data down here and we just wanted to get information out here or we have it where this is a huge data set maybe it's 10,000 20,000 records Power Query just makes it a lot easier to bring a, range, a, a data set like this and we just want to get unique values out of here in a CSV uh, list just makes it a lot easier so I hope that helps thanks for watching Thank you.